Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how quick and easy it is to create a Facebook business page or like page on your laptop or on your cell phone. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm Nikki Haley, AKA Madam Mortgage, and I provide practical tips and tricks for real estate agents and mortgage loan originators to help them grow their business on social media organically. So make sure you hit the subscribe button below for more. Now, before I get started, I just want to say that the inspiration for this video came directly from the feedback that I received at different social media classes and seminars that I've been a part of for real estate agents and mortgage loan originators. Oftentimes they would share with me, they don't know exactly where to start in the world of social media and they find it to be quite overwhelming. My first suggestion is always Facebook. Start a business page on Facebook. And they're always like, well, Nikki, how? And that's kind of when the light bulb went off in my head and basically told me, hey, this video is definitely a necessity. So let's get started here on creating this Facebook business page. First, I'm gonna go right here to the F right here at the top of my Facebook panel here. Um, I'm looking at my business page right now. I'm just gonna click on that to take me to my regular timeline. On my regular timeline, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to pages right here on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna click on that. The first thing it's gonna show me is a bunch of pages that I currently follow. My invites tab is gonna give me a number of invites that are currently waiting for me. I can click on your pages right here on the right hand side to see a list of pages that I'm currently managing. And right next to that, as you guys can see, is create a page. So we're gonna click on that. When we click on create a page, it's going to ask you what type of page are you looking to create? Are you looking to create a like page or business page for a business or brand? Or is it more of a community page or are you a public figure? For us in the real estate and mortgage world, we're going to go ahead and select get started right here under business or brand. It's going to start to ask you some of the basic details about your business. First thing you want to do is name your page. So I'm going to say... Nikki Haley, the ambassador of your mortgage. That's actually what my Madam Mortgage page used to be called. But we're going to say, let's change mortgage to real estate. Just for the sake of it. I don't know. So let's change that. Um, the category we're looking for, as you start typing, it's going to make some suggestions. Real estate service, real estate agent, real estate appraiser, so on and so forth. If you're a real estate agent, that's what you're going to choose, real estate agent. Now, for us on the financial side of things, the loan officers of the world, we're going to probably choose financial services and loan service and or loan service for our actual categories. But in this case, we're going to go ahead with real estate agent and select that from the drop down. Next, it's gonna ask for the address. So let's make up an address. One, two, three, four, Cherry Way. And Cherry Way is in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. All right, you see how it just kind of automatically starts to pull Cherry Hill as you start typing. And then I'm gonna put in one of the zip codes that I know there, which is uh, 08034. Your phone number is optional. Now, personally, it's up to you whether you want to add it. It's a business. I would add my phone number to it. Um, I know for compliance reasons, we usually have to put our business line first and cell phone secondary. So I'm going to make up a number here, 666-877. All right. And then it says, don't show my address or only show that this business is in the city and state or region. That's up to you and how searchable you want to be. If you want people to be able to ping your actual location or just the area that you're in hit continue after that. Me personally, I would put the full address to where my office is, especially if people can meet me there. The next thing it's going to ask you to do is to upload a profile picture. So let's go ahead and click on that blue box. And then I'm going to pull up my headshot right there. Me. That's me. And then it's going to ask me to upload a cover photo. So I'm going to go back to that same folder where I have my Facebook graphics and I'm going to create, I'm going to upload one of the uh, cover photos that I created for my Facebook page a while back, actually. So voila, 
Here we go. We have a finished page. We have Nikki Haley, the ambassador of your real estate. We have a nice uh, mortgage related uh, cover photo there. You guys know I'm on the mortgage side, but um, your real estate agent, you're going to have something similar, like maybe the pretty houses and it is say something more really relative to the real estate side of things with your contact info and maybe your social icons or whatever hashtags that you use. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop there because I want to pause for a second and jump into actually how you do this on your cell phone and how quick and easy it is to do it on that as well. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now we saw how easy it was to create a Facebook business page on your laptop. Now let's get into it on your cell phone real quick. So again, I'm going to pop open my Facebook timeline and I'm going to go down here to the right side. If you have an iPhone, I think on Android, it might be at the top on the right side, but I'm going to click on the three lines that looks like a little hamburger there. And right under my name at the top, you see my 15 pages. I'm going to click on that. And the first option that it gives me, of course, create a page. So let's click on that. First thing it's going to do, give you a little quote, connect with your audience, blah, blah, blah. Let's get started. We're going to name our page like we did last time. So this time I can be Nikki Haley. Uh, let's say Reno. Reno Realtor. Say I want to go buy that just for an example. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept there. And then at the bottom, I'm going to hit next. Again, it's going to ask me to choose a category. Now, as you see, Facebook is pretty predictable. They know that I deal with a lot of real estate agents and loan officers. So look at that suggestion, real estate agent, local business, personal blog. Of course, I'm going to hit real estate and I'm a local business, of course, because again, we want to use our office address as those details for where we can be found as far as our business is concerned online. Again, hit the blue next bar at the bottom. Moving a little slow there, iPhone, but as soon as that turns over, it's going to ask you for your address. So again, we're going to be at one, two, three, four. This time, let's do Cherry Lane so we don't get our two addresses mixed up. And again, as I start typing uh, Cherry Hill, you can see that Cherry Hill, New Jersey comes up. And then again, I'm going to put in a zip code of New Jersey and phone number. We're going to make one up again. Uh, eight, five, six, five, five, four, five, four, five. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to hit accept again. It's going to say next at the bottom. So I'm going to hit that blue bar. And again, there you go. We have a page, but what do we need next? We need our profile shot. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my profile picture there. There's my headshot, ready to go, right in my iPhone. I'm gonna hit done, and there we go. Then we're gonna hit next again. It's gonna ask me to add the cover photo, just like it did on the laptop version. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select that. You could drag it into position, hit save, and right at the bottom, it gives me the option to change the photo if I want to, or go ahead and visit my page. Now it's done. Nikki Haley, Reno Realtor. I have my nice branded um, cover photo at the top, my profile picture, nice and professional right there next to my name, and we're done. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more practical tips and tricks to help you, the realtor rock star or mortgage loan originator, grow your business on social media.